And nevertheless, I didn't guess it right. We didn't figure it out, but I still had fun playing detective. And if you're like me, the great clue caper will be right up your alley. The best part is it benefits the Village of Hope. And I'm here with Jackie Jennings, the organizer of this amazing event. Jackie, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. All right, so what is it? What is the great clue caper? All right, well, first, since you're a detective, you have to wear the official detective the... clue caper hat, right? How about that? It's a tradition. It looks good. I don't know if it's going to work out here it in the wind, we'll, we'll see. see what we can do. Okay, All so right. what, what's the great clue caper? So the clue caper is a giant scavenger hunt for grown-ups. It is all around Wicomico County, so we have about 50 teams, and they solve clues, find the location. Once they get there, they have to complete a task. It could be anything. There won't be any skydiving. <laughs> but it could be just about anything from kayaking across a pond to taking a fencing class to running an obstacle course. And the team that completes the most tasks in a three-hour period of time wins $1,000 wow. for their team and $1,000 to donate to the charity of their choice. So it's a team event. Team event, uh, two it, to five players. And right? you're, you're naming some of those things. Nothing too crazy, but does everybody have to get involved? How does that work? So you, your team can have two people or five people, up to five people. Mm -hmm. Some of the tasks, everyone on the team will have to participate. Some of the tasks, you'll pick one or two people. So it's not necessarily physical for everyone. And in fact, this year, it's a little more cerebral than it is physical. You so gotta we'll think. See how we do. You gotta think. Yeah, All right. Exactly. Uh, so it benefits the Village of Hope. Correct. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. The Village of Hope is a transitional home for women and children here in Salisbury. So it serves women in the three lower counties. And it's really um, a, an opportunity for women to break the cycle of homelessness. So we bring women who are homeless or in danger of being homeless and their children to the village for two years. So it's a great cause. Exactly. Now, now tell me real quick the who, what, where, and when. Who, what, where, and when. April April 10th, you have to sign up at greatcluecaper.com. Get your teams in. I had a clue for Lisa, but unfortunately, it's a little too windy out here. It's too to windy. Do it today. We were going to give them a, a, we a clue them ahead a clue. of time. All right, Jackie, mm -hmm. thanks so much. Jimmy and Lisa, something tells me with my detective skills, I wouldn't do so great in the great clue caper. <laughs> Back to you guys. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it scares me. It's a little more cerebral than physical. Yeah. Uh, but if we let him jump out of the helicopter, you think we can get a couple of those hats? I think so. I'd like that. <laughs> you work on That'd that. Be nice. Hey, thank you so much for watching Delmira Life today. Tomorrow, you know, Sean trades in the mic and becomes a mechanic. See if he makes the cut when he spends a day in the life of an automotive technician. And we're going to sit down with a Rehoboth Beach author who's actually penned her way into National Geographic Kids. Hey, have fun today. That's, oh my goodness, what a great Oh my thing. goodness. Thank you, I thank you. I can't wait till tomorrow. Yeah, no kidding. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva. Right now, let's turn it over to Steve Hammond and Paul Butler for WBOC News at 6. Thank you, guys.